Hi, my name is Ryan Price from Two Men in a Truck, North St. Paul, and I'm showing you a video on how to train and how to wrap a TV properly if it doesn't have a box already, and how to secure it into a truck. And I'll be training Alex today, who will help me out in that. Awesome. My name is Alex. I am new to St. Paul North for Two Men in a Truck. Um, why is it so important to make sure your TVs are protected? The most important thing, obviously, is damages, but the other thing is it does look really good in the customer's eyes that we're taking care of it before we take it to the truck. So a lot of times when they see us walk off with an item before we pad wrap it, they wonder what we're doing or if it's going to be secure or safe in the, in the end. Okay. If we carry it for some reason and we think something might happen to it in that scenario, what should we do? Uh, we should always set it down and adjust our situation depending on what's wrong or what's going on and figure out what's the best route to take it to the truck safely. That works for me. And then just last but not least, I should have went over just a second ago, is you should always get a release of liability um, just in case if it doesn't already have the package for the TV that it came in. If it does, then you don't need it. But if it doesn't have the package, then you just, in the pink here I highlighted earlier, that's where the customer signs and initials. And then next to it in the green is where we write in an initial and sign as well. Okay, should that be done before we do the move or after? That should always be taken care of before because if you do it after, then it's null and void at that point. So now me and Alex will go over and grab a TV as a team and bring it over and demonstrate how to do that. And we'll lift on three. One, two, three. And then the table will be right behind you in a couple steps here. Thank you. Set that on nicely. There we go. And then you'll always want to take off the base first before you pad wrap it, just because obviously then you'll wrap the base in and they're harder to protect and they easily break in the truck. Is there anything I should do to help you? I, if you just hold the top real quick while I unscrew it, that'd be appreciative. Okay. There's two left. Hold the bottom of the base if you lift up, please. Okay. All right, and then I'll put the base to the side. And then now I'll demonstrate how to pad wrap it properly. Since it's a smaller TV, you're only probably going to need one pad. And I usually keep it folded and just unfold it once so it stays thick and will protect the screen on the front side, which is the most important aspect of the TV to protect. And then you'll want to grab your stretch wrap. You can do it a couple ways. Um, I've learned that if you fold it and make it thick, it'll hold on the corner really well. Or you can obviously have your partner just hold it with his hand as well. And then you go around, and as I go around, Alex will have to try to hold it and walk the opposite direction with me. Okay. And then once you get that first layer on, which is always the hardest to get it to stay, <laughs> Then you can start pulling a little bit tighter to make sure it stays secure. And you'll want to walk slow, as you can tell. It's hard because the TV wants to slide and move. So you always want to take your time and never rush. And then I just come up over top again. I'm just going to do a little figure eight or so in the corners to make sure it stays secure. And then just pull off your wrap at the end there and make sure all of it stays secure on it and push it down if there's any excess off the sides. And then next, you take a large box. If it's a larger TV, we do have wardrobes. Um, nowadays, a lot of people have 70 inches, 65, so that'll probably work for that. Since this one's a 32, a large should work just fine for that. You keep the box intact if you if it'll fit, and we should be able to just slide. The TV so we just in. slide the TV right inside the box. Yep. Perfect. Just lift it up for me, please. And I would stress never try this on your own. Definitely want partner help. Get about as minimal as you possibly can. And then I have a tape gun. 
that'll help me tape around the sides. I prefer the roll. A lot of guys like tape guns. I don't do so well with them. So whatever you prefer. <laughs> stay secure on both sides and now we're going to take it each end so I actually take that end okay and we're going to walk it off to the truck so left on three one two three and then if there's anything in my way or things pointing out for me I appreciate it absolutely you're going to have to walk through a small narrow way there's a table and a, and a file cabinet thank you you're clear behind you right now it up but what you want to do is make sure you have wardrobes and or speed packs already into the wall or sometimes you can use like large boxes if it's a smaller tv why is that important just to protect the screen and give you extra cushion on the bounce of the truck when we're driving down the road so i should always put the screen towards that side of the wall. always put the screen into the wall at all costs okay. anything glass so nothing slides into it and breaks it the worst thing that will happen is on the back side it'll go scratch or something like that but it's better than the screen breaking gotcha. So, one, two, three. And then you always want to make sure you have a pad on the ground so the shock of the truck, when it bounces, hits railroad tracks or any type of pothole, it'll absorb the shock on the TV base. If you left it on, it won't break. But in this case, since we took it off like you're supposed to, it'll protect the TV overall on all that. So, Alex, if you just grab a couple of bungees and I'll hold it real quick. Absolutely. You. Now I usually do the crisscross method, so I always use two. So I bring it up, I start low on one side, and you go higher on the other. And if Alex will do the same, if you start down low down there, please. Okay. And just crisscross it up over top. This. Right there will be perfect. Okay. And as you can tell, I can barely even get my hand in there, and it's not moving or going to go anywhere. Is there any other types of securements that we could use for that? There is. You could use a strap. You could use, we have ratchet straps as well. Those are really um, useful. They get actually extra tighter and keep the product from moving. Um, those are the options that we have available to us. There is another way to secure it in the truck. I already have a speed pack set up. And as you can tell, I already have pads in the bottom. You always want to do that whenever you put anything like breakables, like lamps or anything in, in speed packs, just for absorption. You always want to protect things when they bounce in the truck, just in case the base will break. So you can leave the TV the way we did it. Um, we pad wrapped it, and we put it in the box. You do the same method, but instead of to a wall, if we had a full truck, let's say, and not really wall space available, you can put it into the um, speed pack if it's a smaller TV, and you'd still put the screen into the side and then you would label that side so every mover knows in case you're not the one who gets down off the truck for the unload and then you would put like if they had cushions or pillows sometimes when you take beds they want to stick the bedding they're okay with us kind of balling it up nicely and you put it in a speed pack for the absorption as well it protects the tv it doesn't let it move as much i usually put like little small nightstands end tables lamps as well things that'll take up a lot of space, and then you have to cushion in between, whether it be wrap, or sometimes you can use more stretch wrap, a little bit thicker to make that extra padding as well for the absorption and the protection. And that way nothing moves, and you want weight balance because the TV itself is decently heavy and doesn't have the stain anymore, so it's gonna wanna fall over. So if you put a nightstand with padding in between and a cushion, that'll balance out the weight of the speed pack as well when you're taking it down and up the ramp. Is there anything I shouldn't put in there right now? Yeah, you don't want to put anything that's sharp, jagged, um, whether it be 
like broom handles, things that can move real easily and smack into that TV. Um, those things are hard to secure. You want more weighted things that are shorter, will go in there and then can't move very much as well or taller, like a broom, like I said. Okay, that works for me. And then always get the release of liability before we start moving the TV. Yeah, you always want to get that at the beginning just because that way we're covered in case something were to go wrong. That's just more of a, an issue for us, not necessarily. Um, it, sorry, if you get it at the end, it's not gonna do you any good because by then if something broke, they're not gonna sign it because it makes no sense to them because we've already damaged it. So therefore, now it's on us. So it's a protection of the company because the original packaging is not with it and that's the safest way to move something. Okay, I understand that. If I need more training in the future, who should I go to for it? Well, you can come to me. Um, I'm always available anytime to answer any questions. You can also go to one of our upper bosses, whether it be Joe, um, or home office is always available too. I'm sure Joe can direct you to them if they have any questions. He's good at emailing them. If he doesn't know something, um, there's always chain of command. Perfect, thank you very much.